Hey everybody, I want to talk a minute or two about imposter syndrome because I have had um, businesses in the past where I have felt that. I remember a long time ago, I was in my mid-20s, early 30s, and I was running a flight school in Maine. And it was like the good old boys club. Everywhere I would go, I'd take a, you know, a class or I'd have a seminar to go to and I'd be the only woman in the room. And it was really uncomfortable and I have tons of stories around that, but I just felt like an imposter going into the room. What do I know about flying airplanes and teaching people how to fly amongst all these people in the room who have been doing it a lot longer than me? And um, you know, what am I thinking being the only female in the room? I didn't give up. I stuck it out. I had a phenomenal flight school. I had certifications that a lot of schools couldn't get. I'm driven and so are you. So you can do this. You are not an imposter, right? It's confidence. It's being um, okay to fail and okay to try something, a different tactic in your approach and um, finding your inner superpower because you can do it. You're not an imposter. And even if you feel it sometimes, we all do, right? So let's recognize it for what it is, kick it to the curb and keep on going. And if you need some help, reach out. Thanks. I'm Tanya Bugby with Tanya Bugby Coaching and Consulting. I'm supposed to put that in there at some point. So there you go. All right.